Hello everyone, this is Kevin Morsfield from Autodesk. I'm a NetFab Technical Sales Specialist, and today I want to show a feature of NetFab called mesh to b rep So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and load a part. I got a bracket.3mf file. We do an automatic fix when we bring in the part. And what I want to do is make some modifications to this uh, triangulated mesh here. I want to go ahead and make these these uh, spot faces here where the holes are and extrude that up a little bit and fill in one of these holes on here to show that if we make some changes to this geometry, we're able to save this part as an IGIS, a step file, or a SAT file to re-put into our CAD software to do more modifications there or just have a record of what we change in our um, additive software here. So let's go ahead and go to our repair module here. And this is where I can mark faces or triangles on the part. I'm going to go ahead and use my surface marking tool here and mark these spot faces. And we're going to go ahead and extrude these. I'm going to mark those. We'll go up to the edit mesh tools up here, extrude surfaces. And we'll go ahead and we'll keep the five millimeters here, showing you a preview here. We'll hit apply. And it's extruded those surfaces up the five millimeters. Now let's go to the cylinder here and mark these areas using our marking tool surface here. Mark the cylinder in there. We can go ahead and use remove triangles. Now we have a hole in the part that we want to fill in, and we can easily fill that in by going to our Actions tab here on the right, hitting the All Hole Fill option here, and then we filled in that cylinder on the top there. And now I want to be able to save this part in an IGIS format, so we're going to go ahead and pick Apply Repair here, save what we've changed, remove the old part, just takes the old part out of the parts tree there. And now I have my part here on the screen here that we modified. I'm going to turn off the platform here for better viewing. So we have this part here. We've extruded the spot faces on here. I filled in the cylinder hole on the top. We want to save this to an idea. So we go about that by going to our modify tab up top. And we got mesh to B rep. And when you use the mesh to be rep, you're going to get um, this dialog that tells you you need to check to make sure that this part has integrity. It has no self-intersection and no flip triangles. We're all good there. And now we have a dialog for the parameters that we have to make the B-rep B -rep patches that will show on this part when we create that. I'm going to re-triangulate it. I'm going to detect and preserve sharp edges. What this does is it'll, it'll make sure the sharp edges stay on the part when we create the B-Rep patches. We have the option because typically people are taking generatively designed parts or anatomical shaped geometries and using um, this turned off. And when you turn it off, it'll, it'll round the corners. We want to keep this part with the sharp corners, so we'll leave that on. We're going to go ahead and put number of surfaces that they can go up to. We'll put it all the way to 10,000. And then we'll go ahead and hit calculate here. And at this point, it's going to go ahead and put the B-Rep patches on the part that we'll see here in a couple minutes. And here we are. We have the B-Rep patches on the part. We're going to go ahead and hit apply here to accept what we've changed. Do I want to remove the old part out of my parts tree? Yes, I do. And now we have the part that is complete here that we can then export out as a IGIS file or a SAT file or STEP file. We do have other formats that we can output to, but we're going to go ahead and go IGIS. And then you say, OK, save it in your directory. And what will happen here now is you'll have the ability to bring this, open up this. Uh, I just file in your CAD software to either make some more modifications or at least have a record of what you changed in NetFab software. And that's a great tool to have to be able to go back into the CAD package from what we've changed. 
So once again, this was Kevin Morsfield from Autodesk. Thanks for your time.